Hi, this is Paul from Advertising Analytics. I'm going to show you a product we built called Faros. Once you log into the software, you'll be directed to the main dashboard called the Faros Data Profile. Before we cover this dashboard, I'm going to highlight a few features of Faros. As you notice, across the top there are six tabs. These are used to navigate from page to page within the product. On the right hand side, you will notice filters. These remain fairly consistent throughout the product and it will allow you to adjust the data displayed such as date, advertiser, and advertiser type. When you scroll all the way to the bottom of each page, you will notice a few key buttons. The first is revert. If you have a filter selected, this will allow you to revert back the original view. I'm going to select a date range here. And if I want to go back out to the all date ranges, I'm going to click revert. And as you see, it'll revert back to the main view. The second button is refresh. This will repopulate your data should you run into any issues while loading. Another important feature is the download button. This is located in the bottom right and allows you to export any table into an Excel file. This is the home page called the Faros Data Profile where you will be directed once you log into the software. We're looking at a handful of markets here, and as you can see, the spending in these markets is $226 million. If I select on one market, such as Philadelphia, the total will update. There are three summaries that are provided on this page. The first is the top billing agencies within this market. As you can see, this is interactive, if you select an agency, it will show the active accounts they are managing. The second is the top advertisers, which is sorted by total spend. And then the third is the breakout between issue money and candidate money in that market. As you will see, if I adjust any of the filters, the summaries at the bottom will update. Now I'm going to go back to the top and select the next tab titled Spending by Station. This dashboard shows you the average spot cost by station and time period. As mentioned before, the filters are consistently on the right hand side. There are two additional filters on this dashboard. One is the slide bar or cost per spot and the second is station. There are three views in this dashboard and the filters on the right hand side will again update the data as adjusted. The first view can be accessed by selecting the station at top. This will show you the rates for all the advertisers on this station. The second view can be accessed by selecting a time period on the left. This will show you rates for all advertisers within that time period. The third view can be accessed by selecting the actual rate by station. So this will show you rates for individual advertisers for this specific time period on this station. The next dashboard is the advertiser station summary. This shows the total advertiser spending by station and the percentage on that station. Additional filters for this dashboard include station and day part. Once again, there are three views to this station. You can select station and it will show you rates for all advertisers on this station across all time periods. The next view is advertiser on the left hand side. You can select the advertiser and view the rates across all stations, all time periods in this market for that specific advertiser. And then the third is selecting the individual station and advertiser. This will show you the rates just for that advertiser on one station. The next tab is station details. This tab is accessed through either the spending by station or advertiser station summary tabs. This view shows contract numbers, flight dates, revision numbers, and most importantly, the actual rate by program and the number of spots. As you can see, selecting a specific rate will allow you to view the PDF 
so you can have confidence in the data that the system is producing is 100% accurate. The next tab is average cost per spot by quarter. This shows the average cost per spot by quarter for each time period and the number of spots that this is calculated off. Filters include quarter, station, as well as any years that would be available, and day part. The final dashboard is average cost per spot by week. This is very similar to the average cost per spot by quarter, except you have the ability here to select individual weeks. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Faros. Please visit our website, advertisinganalyticsllc.com, to request a demo or learn more about this or other products.